Tuning with Central Georgia EMC and I am the Chairman of the Governmental Affairs Committee for the Henry County Chamber of Commerce and uh, we're doing a series of interviews with candidates for mayor and today I have um, Ann Tarpley with me. She is a candidate for the mayor of the city of Hampton. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for having me. Thank you and I just kind of wanted to start and ask you tell me a little bit about yourself and any experience that you have in public service. Okay. So I'm a native of Hampton. I've been here my entire life. Um, eight generations of my family have called Hampton home, so I'm here <laughs> for the rest of my life, I believe. Um, I have um, four years of service as a public official. I've been on the city council before and served and many accomplishments while serving there served on the Parks and Recreation Committee, the Community Development Committee, the Public Safety Committee, as well as the uh, Finance and Administrative Committee. Okay, mm -hmm. great, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, most people have a theme for their campaign, mm -hmm. so let us know what your theme is and why you chose that theme. Okay, so my theme is Community Focus, Forward Thinking, and History Preserving. And the reason is because it is a three-phase uh, plan that I often think about when we're um, w when we want to do something in our community so the very first thing with community focusing is that we will make sure that not only do we get the input of our citizens and we listen to what they they want we will also put the plan together to produce what they actually have said and then of course forward thinking is always about not right now you know, we can get caught up in the right now, but we really need to look to the future and what we're going to be leaving for our children and what they would like to see their community to become. So I'm always thinking ahead 20, 30 years in the future. Of course, things that's being built now are pretty now, but what will they look like in the future? And then history preserving. I'm all about history, probably a great history buff, love history. So really just want to make sure that a full picture of our city is portrayed. When you come to the city of Hampton, you get the entire experience of what Hampton is. Okay, yes. well let's talk about downtown Hampton. Okay. Um, do you think that downtown Hampton is thriving? And if not, what can you do to help it thrive even more? Okay, so um, downtown Hampton has some work to be done. Um, the businesses are they complain about there not being enough traffic driven their way. So one of the things that I've, we've thought about in regards to um, helping those businesses to thrive in our downtown becoming a vital place to go is to create a 10 10 10 plan where you have not only um, you have 10 restaurants, you have 10 entertainment facilities, you have 10 arts uh, going on, always having events plan in the downtown area. So that is one of the things I think that will help our downtown area and its businesses to thrive and not just survive. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as mayor, how do you plan to involve um, your constituents in the planning for the city? Okay. So when I become mayor, the first three months of being mayor, I want to do what is called a need assessment as well as a want assessment. And that will be a tour of our city in many of our larger communities where there are HOAs and you know they have the facilities where we can go to them instead of, us, uh, instead of them having to come to us. And what we want to do is listen. Listen to what they want in their community, what they would like to see come to their community. That way that when we're designing our city and planning for our future, we will have the constituents input. Now years ago, I think it was 2011, we had an LCI study that involved cities, I mean the citizens input. And that is a wonderful tool for us to continue to build on. But of course it was 2011. The demographics have changed, people have changed. So you have to go back into those communities to find out what people want to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Um, what issues would you like to focus on as mayor of the city of Hampton? Issue. Um, so, I would say revitalization of some of our dilapidated uh, spaces. Uh, we have a lot of blight in our old community and we want to make sure that we 
not gentrified in, in our community, but we help people to stay in their homes. We want to put the, the citizens forefront and, and make sure that they can still, you know, enjoy the place that they've lived their entire life. Okay. Well, let's talk about managing growth. <laughs> then. Um, how would you help manage growth of Hampton? Okay. So growth is one of those things that it has a lot of elements that goes along with it. When you're looking at growth, you have to think about the financial, you have to think about if you actually have the infrastructure in place. It has a lot of moving parts. And so with me, as far as growth goes, it is important and it's vital that we have a plan in place if we're going to start this journey of growth. We have to make sure that we don't grow too much, but we don't stay too small. So growth is one of those things that is definitely going to take a plan that you have to put in place, know where you're going, know what you're looking to become, and then actually implementing that plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if you were given a million dollar grant for the city and you could use it on anything that you wanted to, what would it be? It would go back to that revitalization plan, the blighted, part of our community. We want to make sure that people can stay in their homes and that we have enough housing for individuals that may not be able to afford what is now becoming the New Hampton $350,000 or better homes. So we want to make sure that we have areas that everybody is welcomed in and everybody can come to to be able to, to thrive in our city. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, tell me about your favorite places in Hampton. Ah. Favorite number one place to go in the city of Hampton is going to be the city park. <laughs> I spend a lot of time in city park, whether it is walking, because I do. I do a lot of walking over there every day. And um, just taking my grandbabies. I have two grandbabies, so I take them to the park to enjoy. Uh, that was one of the um, uh, projects that I had an opportunity to work on when I was on the city council. So uh, I have just really thoroughly enjoyed what the park has become. It's a beautiful park. So not only are um, there city elections for um, mayor, but we also have a countywide election for T. Splost. Mm -hmm. And um, tell me why a penny for Henry is important. Mm -hmm. Well, we can ride seven miles from Hampton into McDonough, and we can see what the why because on 20, <laughs> there is bumper to bumper traffic when there is not supposed to be any. <laughs> but it's because we need some, you know, we need to really put our heads together to get the roadways in, into a condition where traffic flows. And that is the reason that t Splice is number one, in my opinion, as far as that one sense. We need to make sure that traffic flows in our community, that we're not sitting, waiting 45 minutes to get across 75, because we're trying to get home to our families so we can utilize that time and spend it with our families. So, yeah. well, all right. Well, thank you so much yes, for coming no in today and answering our questions. And I just want to remind everybody that we are um, – in an early voting period, so um, please get out and vote. Um, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.